Hi traders, we ended the most volatile week of the past year. The S&P 500 index gained 1.5% last week. The Dow Jones rose by 3%, but the interesting story of the week was that the Nasdaq fell by 1.1%. Technology stocks that led the rally like Netflix and Facebook lost more than 4%, but on the other hand, energy and financial stocks rallied to new highs. The US tax reform was the main reason for the 2017 rally. However, the tightening investigation around Trump's administration sparked serious concerns. With the approval of the tax reform law, there is a high probability of realizing the familiar term, by the rumors, but sell the news. Are we at the point of selling the news? Let's take a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500, the market is way too extended to the upside, meaning we are looking at a pullback. The market is at new all-time highs, but also take a look at the volatility of Friday. You can see that there's a long bottoming tail on Friday, and again, news that recently did not move the market much in the past week did so. So, I am expecting a pullback. Now, whether it's going to come this week or next week or the next weeks, I do not know. But the market is overextended and it looks like we're probably going to pull back. And if I need to bet on the timing, it's probably going to be this week. So I'm not talking about a change of direction, I'm not talking about a change of the trend. I'm only mentioning the fact that we are extended to the upside and the market needs to take some profits. Let's take a look at last time's picks. My first pick was HFC Long. HFC did great, moved over the whole number 37, always like to buy stocks over whole numbers, and moved up more than 22%. Just a reminder, by the 3x3 rule, I always sell 3 quarters at a 3% gain. So I only have the last quarter left. My second pick was TSN. TSN did great too, over 14%. Again, the same story applies, selling three quarters at a 3% gain, only a quarter left. My last pick was OLN. OLN did good too. However, the last quarter did not remain because I always sell, again, three quarters at 3% gain, but as you can see, it came back to the entry point, meaning the last quarter is out. So OLN did good too. As well. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is FT&T Long. I would like to go long FT&T over $42.31. Fortinet provides cybersecurity solutions for enterprises and government. And if you take a look at the chart, it looks like it's uptrending and moving into a new high very, very soon. Now, again, it depends on the market. The market may not help us uh, going long this week. So be very, very careful if you go long, especially FT&T. And again, depends on market direction too. My second pick for the week is SM Long. I would like to buy SM over $22.81. Now SM is an energy company and I mentioned earlier that uh, energy, energy companies moved up last week so it's very very likely that they're going to continue moving higher this week too even though the market may move down. So SM and other companies like MPC or XOM are looking for like good candidates for a long. I wish you a great trading week and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching my video. Do you have what it takes to become a trader? I would like to invite you to take my free trading challenge. If you succeed, I will fund you. You will get free access to a $14,000 trading account which you can trade from home and earn 70% of the profits you generate. No risk, no cost. Just click here and join now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel here. If you have any questions, please use the comments below.